welcome to part two of my video, Homeschool Curriculum Picks for this year. Today we're going to be going over the core subjects, reading, writing, math, vocabulary, and a few others. Of my homeschool curriculum picks video so let's dive right in so for reading we are going to be continuing with all about reading by Marie Ripple my daughter is still in level one and she's finishing this up and then we're going to be moving right into level two and if you're interested in seeing what these look like you can check out my summer curriculum video up top or on the bottom link below and then my son is going to be finishing the second level and he's going to be moving in into level three and I did show you guys the books that we use for level one and two and these are the two reader books that we're going to be doing for level three so just to give you a really quick look through level one looks like this so as you can see they're moving into smaller fonts and a bit more rich text and then this is what level two looks like I'll show you what the, the end looks like and you have the same kind of stories throughout and you're also using the word box just like in the other uh, the other levels and as you saw I unbound I unbind everything and, and I put everything in a ring binder um, but this is what the actual student workbook looks like so if you don't do that and you and if you decide just to keep it inside the workbook this is what it looks like so I expect that he'll be going into that maybe around January so that's what that is Next we have vocabulary and we're using Evan Moore grades three and four and we've been using this for various um, years. We use their first grade level, their second grade level and now we're doing third and fourth. So um, if you saw my last part one video going over this year's curriculum, you, you saw that Build Your Library has vocabulary embedded throughout and if you can see on my board we have a few of those words. So we have about three or four words per chapter. So. Um, last lesson was boggy, treacherous, and sly. And then we also have vocabulary words and definitions through our spelling curriculum. So um, this is an additional thing. And I found that, that vocabulary really helps my, uh, my children soar when it comes to comprehension. Uh, so the richer the vocabulary, the richer uh, the comprehension. So we usually do about four words. And that's what this... This is what this looks like. So you have the word, it gives the description, whether it's a verb, a noun, or an adjective. It gives a short definition, and then it uses it in context. And it usually has a fun question to really um, drive the whole uh, word home. And then we try to use the word in, in everyday language, and I definitely um, celebrate and encourage them to use it whenever we can. So that's how we approach vocabulary. And then next we have cursive. So this year I created my own cursive curriculum. So if you're interested in seeing what that looks like and what resources I used, just let me know and drop me a comment below and I'll do another video just going over all the different links and resources. But just to give you a rough idea, um, this is our second time trying cursive. We used a Becca cursive back in kindergarten and um, my kids did pretty well, but it, there, there wasn't much retention I feel because they were younger. So we're gonna try it again. So we're going to be starting with just doing the simple letter formation and then we're going to stick with one letter for a few days and then we have it here and then I found this one here. Uh, so as you can see it builds and then I'm doing the, the alphabet. So A through Z and then at the end we have some words that we're, that we're going to be trying to make and then um, hopefully sentences towards the end. So that's cursive and each child gets one and we're going to be doing that together. Next for writing, we are doing, so if you saw my last video in oh, for over the summer, my son finished draw then write, now my daughter is going to be moving into draw then write. She was doing draw right now in second grade so she's going to be moving into this book 
and then my son is finishing off paragraph writing. And then once he finishes and she finishes, I, I expect that in the spring or over the summer, we're going to be doing easy peasy. And we might also just go into um, some of the, the easy peasy material throughout that time. But um, last year, I started to print off some of the materials from Easy Peasy, some math worksheets and some language art things, and I went ahead and I printed out their language arts number four, their language arts number three, and all the way to sixth grade, and I think that's where it stops. So just to give you an idea, they start off with this really fun activity where you're describing a family member, and I think a lot of these activities, um, or exercises rather, they're going to really find... Uh, fun and entertaining so I'm hoping to have them join in on some of these but it does include spelling and a few other things that will that will be a little repetitious for us so I'm gonna be omitting those things so uh, that's what we're gonna be doing more formally this year then once they kind of cycle through that I have these binders um, I'm gonna try to in incorporate more letter writing more um, journal passages or just more um, Brave Rider style sorts of things um, when it comes to writing. So I found these nice binders that have three tabs. I want to say, yeah, in, in the Dollar Tree. So I'm hoping that one will be a draft section, a rough, um, excuse me, an outlining section, another one a rough draft section, and then the final copy will stay in this binder right here and I really love this because that way you can see the natural progression of writing and how it's not just one cold exercise but you're really improving on your writing and it's not something that you do all at once but it's a process so I love how these binders really show that progression so that's what I'm that's what I'm planning to do when it comes to writing next I'm just gonna grab spelling really quick so we're doing soaring with spelling and I went over this in, in my summer video that I linked in the very beginning, so I'm not going to go over it, but if you're interested in seeing what that looks like, this is what it is. So we're doing level one right now, and I expect we're going to be here for a while, and once that's finished, we're going to be doing level two. Next for math, if you saw my summer video, we're doing math lessons for a living education. My daughter is doing level two. My son is in level three, and I expect us to still be in this, these two levels for a while. But I went ahead and I ordered level three and level four for both of them. So this is level four. So I'm going to show you a really quick sneak peek at what that looks like. And as you can see, I also printed off some of the easy peasy math worksheets. So if over the summer we need more practice or if we finish up, we'll have that all ready to go. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. You still have the fun narrative of the brother and sister, Charlie and Charlotte. And let me just show you. There's fun little recipes is what one looks like. And again, this is a Charlotte Mason based curriculum. And it's just so fun. It's so intuitive. Uh, they just really, really like it. And it also has the answers in the back. So. I'm planning to finish up level three and four, and then at that point we'll probably evaluate and see if we want to continue with this or maybe try something else. Um, I do have teaching textbooks in my radar, and we are going to be doing something else which I'm going to go over. So we'll see where we go when it comes to math. So Beast Academy, we're going to be doing Beast Academy 2B very lightly, just during bedtime. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we finished up 2A and it's a comic book style um, and we're still not doing the workbook that comes with it um, but I suspect that maybe once we go into the higher levels it, if they're still interested we'll probably inject those into and then as a really fun um, thing just to kind of keep things fresh I added in uh, last year the fun schooling homeschooling with Minecraft by this is by funschoolingbooks.com and my son really loves doing this whenever he feels like he needs a break from that math or if he just wants to have a fun day or if he's waiting for uh, my daughter to finish up with the lesson he'll come in here and he'll do a couple pages and there's logic there's spelling 
there's math and all kinds of things. So this is a really fun one. And we're planning on continuing with that. We're still not done with this. And then my daughter's really into cats, so I ordered this one for her. This is, um, you could say busy work. This is what she does whenever she's waiting or if um, she feels like doing something fun. So, and it has logic and it has graph paper and things like that. So this is a lot of fun. Next, we're gonna be starting a typing program. I'm still kind of up in the air on what we're gonna use when it comes to typing. So once I decide what we're gonna be doing for typing, I'll create another video, but it is something that we're gonna be starting this year. We have to get a, a brand new com computer and we just haven't done that yet. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that. So I'll probably link it up top once we do that. Then the other thing that we're gonna be doing is coding for beginners using Scratch once we get that computer. And I bought this um, from a homeschooling mom who was reselling it. And it's just a short book introducing uh, coding. And then our homeschool co-op, um, one of the leaders was so kind to do this. She organized a computer uh, class that we actually did a year ago with a friend, but this is a more steady uh, computer class. It's gonna be meeting every week. And I'm really excited because they're doing a lot of different projects. They're gonna be teaching mapping skills and word processing and things like that. So we're gonna be doing that every week. So I'm really excited about that. And Easy Peasy um, Online Homeschool also has some computer uh, lessons and a curriculum embedded. So we're gonna be adding in that as well, as well as some online spelling using Spelling City. All right. And I think that is it. So that's what we're doing this year. I hope that you enjoyed this, this look through. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below. If you haven't seen part one yet, please do because this will make so much more sense. And I hope that you're having an amazing year and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.